All right, guys. First match of the day for you here. We got Marku versus Sizzle. Pretty sure these guys have played before. Oh, many times. They saw each other in pools at the West House of Fame. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, we're going to Battlefield here. Nice, even stage for both characters. I know Captain Falcon definitely likes the stage a lot. Not a bad stage for Morris at all. Playing a little bit of melee right now. Sizzle looking very dominant. Yeah. Marku not able to get any percent on so far. Getting grabs. It's weird. Marku plays pretty much exclusively melee player characters like Fox and, and but, Falcon. But only in PM. But he does not play melee. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Almost dunking Sizzle at that 0% side B, but a little too low percent here to work. A little uh, oh. extra technology there from Marku. Looking a little bit flashy, but not. Unfortunately, the flashing is put him in position to get hit by that charged up shield breaker. So, uh, one of uh, the biggest problems I feel with Marku is he does not really execute well in the neutral. Like, he kind of just spaces his nares, like, a little aggressively, and, like, just tries to do anything to either get a grab or a nair. But, like, when he does, like, get them, like, he's he's kind of surprised himself, you know? Oh, yeah. he, did, he did get it, so he's not able to, like, get, like, a, a great punish. He went in on some... A little bit of a deep stomp there on that tech chase and missed it, but now Mark is starting to get some more hits on 7S. Yeah, Sizzle's been putting in a lot of work with this dancing blade here. So Hold I'm on. That is not 7S. We have a fake tag oh, yeah. in this match. He's uh, repping his boy. And Sizzle looking dominant. Still not had a stock taken off of him. See, Marku, I know he has combos inside of him, but Falcon is one of those characters. There it nice is. knee. Yep. Where you really, at low percent, need to be able to string hits together in a, you know, an unpredictable way. Otherwise, your opponent, they know what they're doing, is just going to be able to down and away, down and away, down and anything away. you hit them with. You don't see uh, too many like tech chase setups either. That's one of Captain Falcon's like best specialties. Yeah. So like yeah. when when Marku gets a grab at low percent, he'll usually try to like like you see him up throw knee at low percent, which is like not really a good option. Like you should really be doing like up throw or. Uh, oh, unfortunate. Too low on the up beat. But if you if you do F throw, you can definitely set up or even down throw a low percent set up for. Oh, Marku almost getting that grab a little late makes it back to the stage though. See that was a tech chase situation there, and he could have punished. Yeah, Marku facing, close. he almost got that down here just a little bit too late. I don't know if that's it. Maybe it sideways, but nice mid air Ken combo. Taking that first game. Are you? Are we gonna see a character switch from Marku? Dorf. He no switches, blocks. He That's switches to Dorf before the stage ban. Oh, he says they agreed to come uh, back to Battlefield. All right, going back. Yeah, pulling a page out of my book. Definitely loves the Ganondorf. He's played against him a lot. I feel like Ganondorf, especially in PM, probably has a little bit better nice. time than Falcon in this matchup. Yeah. So as Captain Falcon, like you, you need to be playing like a lot faster. But what Ganondorf allows you to do is play a little bit more of a spacing-heavy game. Nice side B. And Ganondorf also, like, once he does get in, like, he's just a he character hurts. that's, yeah, much, much easier to get your punishes off on. Yeah. So, if you're if you're a player who struggles in the neutral, then, like, Whoa. playing Ganondorf is a good, good idea because you can, like, not rely on your neutral game and rely more on your punish game. The Mark is struggling with his setups a little bit. Doing those lazy full hop dares that a player like Sizzle is not going to pay off, I don't think. I don't think he's ever played Ganondorf in bracket, so it's definitely something to uh, build a little bit of experience here. And when you're up against a player like Sizzle, where you know like you know, he's, he's definitely put in a lot more time, he knows the matchups that you're going to try to put up against him, then uh, maybe just getting some experience is the best way to, to approach the match. It's valuable. New technology. Nice grab. Is there is there going to be a follow-up? Marky looking for that Titman spike. Trying to get on the board here. Good movement by Marku. If he can take this stock, he might have a chance in the game. We'll see. Side beams. We're tech chasing. Oh! <laughs> that was hype, but that definitely was hype. better. Definitely I better think Marku is yeah. not looking nope. for the Ganon side there. He is down two stocks with only one left to go. Yeah, oh, see, the juggles. He's, he's DI'ing those up tilts. <laughs> yeah, his, his DI versus Martha is not that good, but you, you need to DI those up tilts behind Marth. 
so that they send you behind. A lot of those like backwards hitting up tilts, even like Fox and Falcos, like if you want a DI behind. You gotta have good DI. Yeah, but good stuff from both players Great there. Great combo by Sizzle. Finishing a, that stock with a J.